Hey YouTube, this is uh, Sasquatch Piper just uh, stopping by to smoke a pipe with you. Uh, this is smoke puffing on my uh, Patriot, my Missouri Meerschaum Patriot. And in it I've got some uh, Polydine Black Cherry. Just finished dinner. Nice and full. Woo. Had some fried chicken and mashed potatoes. Can't ever go wrong with that. With a little bit of uh, sweet red wine. Mm. Had a little bit of uh, Liberty Liberty Creek. First time having that brand. It was pretty good. Probably have a little bit more uh, this evening. That was nice and sweet. And it's got a cherry. Cherry finish to it. Nice. Silky smooth. Nice. Nice wine. Hmm. Goes well with this um, cherry backy been uh, puffing on it. Going to be watching some more Olympics tonight. Been kind of disappointing in some events. But we've been, uh, I think it was the 200, uh, oh, the women's 200 something where we uh, the women swept it we got gold silver and bronze that was kind of neat to watch and uh, women's volleyball had to settle for bronze which is still cool still medaled but it would have been cool to see See them do it again. All, uh, this will be the fourth year, our fourth Olympics. Uh, but it's okay. Brazil's been on fire. Those girls and guys have been on fire. I say Brazil is what, um, or uh, volleyball, indoor and uh, sand volleyball, is um, what Brazil's main sport is practically. And uh, they showed it. But that's all right. It's just fun to see all the games, all the countries, everyone's pride. Mm. This cherry's good tonight. Anybody got a special event that you like to watch in the Olympics? I uh, I like watching the volleyball for some reason. I was um, actually um, stumbled into this. I was uh, like I've said before. I went to two years of Bible college in St. Louis, and uh, girls, the girls volleyball team. It was a small school, still a small school. They didn't have a whole lot of sports. They had baseball, they had a basketball, and I think they had, the, well, not think, but they had, uh, girls had volleyball, indoor volleyball, and uh, they were looking for a utility coach, and um, I, you know, I didn't get paid for it, volunteered for it. It was really fun. Travel around with this team, uh, go to all the events, turned out being a little bit of a, more than a utility coach man it was fun learning uh, the bump set and spike uh, I had no idea on any of the rules or anything learned 
these girls were excellent teachers, man. I, I uh, ended up being assistant coach later on, and it was fun. So I've been kind of addicted to uh, volleyball since, um, and I love watching the sand volleyball. Uh, I, I guess that's probably one of my favorite uh, events. And I apologize, that's the, I've had this before in other videos, but that's a factory back there. I'm not, a, I always say this, I don't know what they're doing, but uh, it's awful loud, and that's probably why I'm talking so loud. But, uh, no, I've been loving the, uh, watching the Olympics. Even, even the track and field, the, uh, watching the, the gymnastics, that's been cool. Uh, just everything. The whole, I don't know, camaraderie. Us being together, it's really cool. But, uh, oh, and the swimming, I like watching the swimming too. Um, another story, um, I worked at, um, uh, uh, it's a group home, I'm not gonna say their name, but, uh, uh, I worked there for like four years right out of uh, right out of college uh, working with the, the mentally handicapped adults showing them um, how to write a check how to balance their checkbook uh, shop and stuff like that you know just trying to get them out on their own um, and, and, and it was so cool because you see a lot of people that just need a little bit of assistance they spend about a couple years in these group homes and they eventually do get out out on their own they get a roommate uh, a little bit of assistant living uh, people stopping in you know will check on them every once in a while but most of the time they're on their own I mean you do get some cases where um, they you know they just don't they just don't grasp it and they eventually are they'll just stay there the rest of their lives or in some cases go back to the hot you know mental hospital um i hate saying mental hospital i'm not sure what it's called now but um but most i'd say most of the time three-fourths of the time three-fourths of them go forward and it's really cool my point my uh, point to the story was um there was one guy that I uh, got to know really well. And he was in Special Olympics. And uh, he was an awesome swimmer. But um, the, uh, the coach that was coaching him in Special Olympics, I can't remember, for some reason had to stop. And they were looking for it. Um, and he was an awesome guy. He, he was really cool. Um, got to like me and so the parents asked me if I would coach him in, in swimming and so I took that on and um, had the time of my life and uh, I'll never forget it um, we you know would meet once a week at a local that uh, the local pool and just work on fundamentals and, and just it was such an awesome experience for me and I'll never forget that so now I like to watch the swimming I like I love to watch the swimming I think back at those days and it was the best best job I, I think I've ever had um, at the time I was married the first time I was married once before and uh, I probably would have still been working there you know I didn't make that much money but she didn't, she didn't like me working there, wasn't making enough money and all this and that, but I enjoyed it. Uh, 
but uh, that's okay. Life goes on. But I enjoyed the heck out of it, especially working with with uh, Ronnie. Was his first name? I, I I can't even remember his last name, but Ronnie was a hell of a swimmer. Um, didn't really need much coaching, but uh, going, you know, his time turning in. He just needed someone to to motivate him to stay focused and uh, just. Once you got him focused in on what he was supposed to do, he was right on, man. He was a great swimmer. Great guy. He even loved the water. He was like a fish. Swam like a fish. But here I am, almost 11 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I just wanted to to uh, share with you some of my experiences, why I love the Olympics. Uh, volleyball and swimming what is yours uh, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here it's been nice smoking a pipe with you gonna go in and probably have me another glass of that great Liberty Creek if you haven't tried it, I don't know where you're living but uh, if you got it around you give that wine a good a good try and uh, happy smoking sweet smokes to you guys keep her smoking